In this video, we're going to be starting the Trade Connections event in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing, well we're starting a brand new event. It's called Trade Connections Event. Now some of you may not have heard about it but it came out in the wee early hours of this morning, I believe. Uh, while I was tucked away at bed, either that or I was at work, one of the two. And um, I noticed it this morning when I came on. So uh, let's check out. Let's check out what you actually need to do. So um, having a look at the actual event. There's my mouse. I lost it. So here we are. Event Trade Connections Sweden. So there's a whole heap of information there about. Uh, they're talking about the uh, new expansion, which is beyond the Baltic Sea. Uh, and here we go down here. So you need to own a DLC Scandinavia to be uh, able to participate. All right, that is one big part of this. Okay, if you don't have it, I'm sorry, you can't do it. Now uh, you need to be connected to World of Trucks. Uh, so World of Trucks jobs only, guys. World of Trucks jobs only. Uh, to earn the reward for this event, uh, your goal is to complete the delivery of any cargo to or from uh, to or from so Sweden to or from Sweden you know so you can earn to so, yes yeah, there we are to or from Sweden uh, with at least 10 different other countries in the rest of Europe uh, you can review your uh, recent deliveries uh, in the logbook so there we go the logbook uh, and that again you have to be logged into the world of trucks now what do we get well, we get this awesome background, which looks pretty damn cool, and we get this Viking statue for inside the truck. That statue alone is cool for, you know, that's that's done it for me. But also you get this background, which is really, really cool. Now, um, one thing that I'd like to mention, though, is that we're doing a lot of these events for Euro trucks, but there's not really many for American trucks. So again, it feels like American Trucks is really the, the unwanted child. That's what it feels like, you know. It's really a bit disappointing. But anyway, I love, I prefer American Trucks than, than Euro Trucks. But anyway. Uh, now today, what are we carrying? We are carrying uh, a Digger 500, 8 ton. Now I am trying mods in here every time that I uh, do this. I'm going to try and add some mods, but... Not all mods are available on World of Trucks jobs. They are generally only available in your standard jobs. So um, that's why it's going to be a bit hard. So I'm going to keep trying. Uh, the two that I put in today didn't work. So I'll keep trying. And as soon as I get one, I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Um, so we are off to Stockholm. Stockholm. Now, the map wanted us to go all the way up here and all the way up there and blah 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 and I said no we're going are we going up there that's going to be the easiest way to go why are you making me go all the way over here craziness anyway so you got to watch the map sometimes it does that so let's get on the road this is going to be fun i like these sort of trips i love them all right spinning this around and we're going to get it try and get it so it's straightish as we're getting out otherwise we'll hit those uh, hit those walls there see easy easy done no damage and there we go Should be a nice drive, this one. Nice, easy drive. Now, 10 different countries. That's going to make it really interesting, isn't it? 10 different countries. Just like uh, the France one that they did. The France one was uh, quite interesting. I didn't... That was okay. I didn't mind it. Uh, just the rewards... I didn't think the rewards were that great, but each to their own. Some people liked them. Some people thought it was really good. Uh, 
Now, 50 through here. Uh, man, that I'm just I keep thinking the trailer's longer than what it is, but it's not that long. And there we go, back into first. And away we go. Now I'm just going to go sit in the middle here because I know that these um, cars sometimes cause problems. Now this guy here, what I hate it when they do that. Now that's because I had my indicator on, I know. Uh, Peck Boy told me one time that that's why it does, that's why they do that. So if you don't know who Peck Boy is, he's one of the guys that used to be one of, our, one of my moderators. Uh, and he was always, always had the information. So, it's really good. Any Anything you wanted to know about American trucks or Euro trucks, he was there and he knew it. He knew it all. Um, there we go. Um, so, 50, 70 now. We can get up to 70. And just got to watch my speed. I don't want to get a speeding fine. And uh, the cops, I mean, here in, in um, Queensland at the moment, in Brisbane, the cops are everywhere at the moment. We've got the Commonwealth Games starting up uh, next week, I believe it is. Uh, no, I'm not going to it. Um, really not a... I'll watch it on TV if I want to watch anything. But I don't think there's anything I really want to watch. Maybe the skating. The skating might be something to watch. Those guys on the, the skateboards uh, are wizards. The way they spin the stuff around and that. Maybe that. Uh, cycling maybe. Don't know. But I don't really... I'm not really someone who likes massive crowds. And this is going to be... Um, uh, I, you know, big crowds are fine, but massive crowds are a bit too much for me. So, um, this is going to be massive crowds. So, therefore, I'm not going to go. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> um, but that's all right. I mean, I missed Expo 88, which was here. That's all right. And uh, so, Commonwealth Games, you know, no big deal. Not in any rush. But it's messed up with our deliveries at work. Uh, I don't do down the Gold Coast, but um, one of the other guys does. He had to change his shift, so he starts at 8 o'clock at night. My, um, my comment to that was, bugger that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh, dear. And he finished at like 5 o'clock in the morning, which was like, wow doing that every day five or six in the morning I think it was that he finishes uh, yeah that's that's a, a hard day that is starting at eight at night and finishing at five or six in the morning but um, you know I suppose these are the things you got to do isn't it All right, let's take a photo photo time event and the, here's the progress meter up the top here if, you, if you've uh, forgotten guys uh, that tells us how many we've got to do out of 10 it's a shame they don't have a bonus one bonus round uh, I like that when they do that have the bonus round that's not really a very good photo is it no it's got that shadow facing over there but that's alright make do with what we got there we go And, um, oh, uh, today, today is Lean's birthday, guys. So, happy birthday to Lean. 27th of March. Now, she'll probably kill me for telling you guys, but, uh, but happy birthday. Now, um, we will be streaming. We'll be doing a live stream this weekend, guys. So, uh, keep an ear out. I'm not sure on the exact date. I'm trying to organize it with family stuff, you know. And that's so that, you know, we can do a, a, a nice big stream. Not a 12, no, it won't be a 12 hour one. It'll be a nice big stream. And, you know, we'll, we'll try, I think we might do, see how we go. Um, 
see how we go. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing... I want to show you a new game that uh, a developer has contacted me about. And uh, it's very much like uh, American trucks and Euro trucks, but you are in a plane. Well, uh, it's like a space-type plane is what it is. Futuristic plane. So it's very, very, very interesting, and it's only in its early stages, but I reckon that it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so uh, I'll be showing you that one this weekend. So uh, make sure you, you uh, tune in for that, guys. And I know that uh, I know that I can't really stream as much as what I used to, but um, you know, we'll, you never know what the future holds. We'll see what happens. All right, construction up ahead. I'm gonna slow down. It's 30 through here. Jackhammer Bob over there. Jack, jackhammering away. And 50. And away we go. Very, uh, there we go. Jadensk, Jadensk, whatever it is. I don't know. Some of these European names, I can't say them. <laughs> Uh, I may have ties to uh, parts of Europe, but um, man, I was born in Australia, so I'm I'm true blue Aussie. <laughs> Don't ask me to speak any other language other than Aussie, Australian, which is English to most of you, and um, uh, bullshit. There you go. There's the two languages that I speak. <laughs> 65 and let's adjust that oh look at this that is really nice I love the scenery out here it's beautiful I'd take a photo but look at the shadow the shadow is going the wrong way speed camera damn speed cameras I got I got done by a speed camera in my new 86 I couldn't believe it couldn't believe it. I was uh, daydream. I was daydreaming, and it was just turning around the corner to go onto the highway, and they got me. And I'm like, "You bastards! That's a crappy place to put a speed camera. It really is. Because as you're going onto the highway, it's 60, and when you're getting more towards the the highway on the on ramp, it's 80. So they change the speed limit there." And then it goes up to a hundred, so you know it's it's crap. <laughs> they deliberately do that to to raise money. They do so. Uh, I'll be from now on. I make sure that I'm doing that speed limit as I'm going on there. So make sure because you never know those buggers. And they got these little things. They the cameras. They look like Wally. You know the the cartoon character Wally, Wally. You know that guy. Um, they look like him. So rather than going, hey, hey, look, kids, there's Wally. It's like, no, smile, kids. Wally's gonna take a photo. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm waiting for them to next put out the uh, speed cameras that look like his girlfriend. What's that white? The white robot whatever her name was I don't know Eve or something that's it it was Eve how do I know this I don't know I remember the weirdest stuff I really do short-term memory my short-term memory is horrible but my long-term memory is really really good all right here we go, turning here, we were, they wanted us to go straight originally, but I said screw that. We're going, we're going this way. We're going the way that I want to go. So, um, 
I'll be starting a new job soon, guys. Middle of next month is when I'll be starting it. Middle of next month. Apparently it's a lot easier than the job I got now, so um, that'll be interesting. The only problem is, is it sounds like I have a break. I think it's a one hour or two hour break in between my day while they're loading up my truck for the second run. So, uh, you know, these things happen, but I suppose at least I have to have a break then, don't I? So, I'll just take my break then. No cars coming. And I get a new truck as well. Oh, screw you! You and your bloody speed camera, you son of a bitch. Ah, Rotten speed cameras. Just talking about speed cameras as well. I was being so cautious, and as I was coming into town, I was speeding. Yeah, yeah, screw you. It's traffic light thing. Right. Now, going through town, it's... Oh, 50 through here. 50... If I get any more speeding fines in real life, I am... I reckon I'm pretty well, pretty well stuffed. <laughs> El stuffo. <laughs> uh, I think I'll probably... I think it's a six-month suspension you get. I'll lose my job. I'll lose everything. Terrible. Oh, well. If it happens, it happens. Just got to keep... Keep plodding along. I'll just find another job nearby and... and get a push bike and get the deadly treadly and go ch -ch 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 down down to my work uh, I've been I've lost my license before I actually got suspended for six months uh, I was drunk and disorderly and I had my car keys on me so when I was 20, 21, I think it was, something like, no, yeah, 21, it was actually on my 21st birthday, 21st birthday, um, I was, I was in my car, asleep, and I jumped out to take a pee, and the cops saw me, and they knocked on the window and asked me, have you uh, got your keys on, there, on you there, son, and I threw them out the window, and then they said, can you blow into this bag? And I was st <laughs> and I blew in the bag for him, and then wound the window back up. And they knocked on the window a third time and said, "Son, can you come with me to the um to the police station, please, to the watch house?" And I went, "Ah!" Then I knew I was stuffed. So <laughs> off I went. <laughs> uh, and the funny thing was, is the cops left the the. Uh, the cell open for me so I could come and go as I please <laughs> all the everyone else just I just sat in there and waited for them um, everyone else they uh, they locked up and you know because they were ru yelling and screaming and one guy was running against the wall and I just sat there <laughs> there's no point making issues matters worse is it uh, it's funny here we go that was when I was young so oh my mother was not happy <laughs> when that happened <laughs> uh, I had to get a uh, lift to work that was that was embarrassing <laughs> right so 28 kilometers to go a better term oh my lights are on so that's all right uh, do I go this way or that way? The sign says going that way, but... Oh, hang on, I'm going down the wrong way street. Oh, that's all right, nobody's coming. That's all good, son. We'll just take the wrong way around. Long way. 
I'm on the right side of the road. I'm from Australia. <laughs> That's my excuse. Uh, and, yep, there we go. Around here. And, see, so didn't bother anyone by going the wrong way. Right, there we go. Where are we? We're in Nanash. Nanasham? Nanasham. I don't believe I've ever been here before. Alright, 50. I'm staying well under the speed limit. I don't want to get a fine. Damn. Damn fines. That's the problem when you go in foreign roads or roads that you're not used to. You, you do. You get a bloody speeding fine. I once went to Sydney, right? And I drove down, and as soon as I crossed the border, I went into this town, and they had this hill that I was going down, and as I was going, I went through the camera thinking, oh yeah, I'm doing the right speed limit, no worries. But as I went down the hill, I sort of increased speed a little bit, and then next thing you know, it took a photo of me, and I was ages away, and the bugger got me. It still got me from such a far distance away. Damn speeding fines. Alright, still 50, so I can't go too far. Now it's 70. You should see it here in Australia. When you see a sign, if you see it in the distance and you can read it, you can do the speed limit. In the game here, if you're <laughs> you can get busted even if you're uh, if once you go over that line, it's right. You can do the speed, do that speed limit. But if you're under, if you're um, speeding up to do that speed limit, you get busted. So what the word? It's weird. All right, chuck it in low so I can get up that little hill there. And there we go. What's that? It says a camera. Is it a speed camera or is that just a normal camera? Security camera. And there's our destination just up there. So that should be our first one. I hope. There we go. Right. Now, um, waiting for this traffic. Come on, let's go. Oh, there we go. Right, now, uh, onto the highway. And then just a little bit of a drive down the road. Damn, they're narrow, those roads. These roads are so narrow. And onto the highway. No little cars there. And then off the highway. <laughs> oh. And there we go. That's a big roundabout. That's a big roundabout. Turning again. And there is our destination in Stockholm. There we go, and is it just up here? Oh, that's it over there, you can see it just over there. Oops, stuffed that up, put the brakes on too hard and it uh, jammed on. Alright, we're going to make it, that's 
Yeah, that's fine. The trailer got passed. Look at that. I wonder what those big pipes are hanging out of the ground there, the yellow, yellowish pipes. Right, now they've got a crane here. Okay. It's a big crane in the middle. And then I'm just going to swing it round here. And then I'll probably just have to back it up a little bit just to get it into place. And there we go. See, that's nice and straight. There we go. Easy done. Easy done. Right, there we go. That should be our first delivery. Let's see. Uh, excellent. Yes, thank you very much. XP. Uh, we got 7,000 for that one. Thank you. And there we go. Our progress is one. Yay, we've done one. Very, very good. So, there we go. That's how you do it, guys. Now, we can pick up another one from Stockholm and take it to another country now. So, that's that's really easy, that, isn't it? Very good. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little drive, guys. I know I said we were going to do uh, American trucks, but this popped up, and I thought, well, we better get stuck into this. I know we got a month to do it. But the sooner we get in and do it, the better it will be. So there we go. Otherwise, because remember, last time I did miss that last one that we did for Euro Trucks, which I was a little bit upset about. The, not the Christmas one, the one before that one, sorry. So yeah, but anyway, missed it by two, was it? So there we go. Well, uh, guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.